Joining us now with his take on her testimony is Robert Bianchi, former head prosecutor of Morris County. Mr. Bianchi, thanks for being with us. So My walk pleasure. us through your impression of her testimony today. You know, it's interesting and it's, it's possible to get sort of fixated on the individual personalities of each Trump child. But what's the big picture here and what was the AG looking to get out of her testimony? What the AG is trying to get is that there was a very intimate family relationship with this small business. And what they did get out very well was that there was an email exchange back in 2012, 2013, in which Ivanka is directly involved in negotiating with an attorney with regard to the statement of financial condition, with regard to the sale of property. And it illustrates in that email that she knows that he doesn't have the adequate finances and then says, well, I'm going to have my father send something over to you in order to smooth that loan through. What's not necessarily shown in my mind right now is that when those financial statements are prepared that she necessarily knew that they were overinflated, but I don't think that that's what the prosecutor is looking to get out here. They're looking to get out basically that everyone in the family knew what was going on with regard to these loans and they can't point the finger to anybody else and of course, to the last point that you asked before, the character of the witness and how they testify is especially relevant in a case where you only have the judge is the trier of fact. And yesterday when Donald Trump was testifying that he did review these statements, he knew about these statements, they've already won the fraud aspect of the case, at least one part of it. Mm -hmm. This is really about whether or not the business is gonna be debarred from continuing to mm -hmm. do business right. and whether or not uh, there are going to be civil penalties. So the government is definitely moving in the right, right. direction. Yeah, I mean, the stakes are definitely high. Um, it is really interesting, though. I mean, Ivanka Trump tried not to testify. She originally didn't want to in talking to the judge, writing a letter to the judge. Um, I guess just, you know, as a prosecutor, why would they testify? Because they don't legally have to in this civil case. So kind of walk us through that. Well, if you're subpoenaed to testify in any action, you have to testify. You come in. I know that we haven't honored that in our political system that much, but there are penalties for not coming in and testifying. So she tried everything she could legally to get out from testifying. But the bottom line is if the prosecutors, I was one for many years, if I want to get somebody inside of that courtroom, I'm going to do it. And if they don't, they're going to jail. Interesting. We're going to have to leave it there. Robert Bianchi, thanks so much for your insight. We appreciate it. My pleasure. Thank you.